Happy Monday morning. Hope everybody's having a good day. Let's start our lesson with the word of prayer. Father, thank you for each one of our children and the big person helping help the kids to have a good day, to listen and learn. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're getting lots of verses, so we need to go fast so we have time for our story. Our first verse is Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin is death, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. First Timothy 1 15, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Christ Jesus came into the world. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners just like me. Christ Jesus came into the world. Why does everybody stand up and join me? Okay, I forgot. Everybody stand up and help me. Oh, this is a good one. John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, said Jesus. I am the way, I am the way. I am the truth, I am the truth. I am the life, I am the life, said Jesus. I am the way, I am the way. I am the truth, I am the truth. I am the life, I am the life for you. Psalm 56, 3, what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid, God watches over me. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. I never need to be afraid. God watches over me. First John 4.19 We love him because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. Christ left heaven to die upon a cross. But he rose again and lives in heaven to take away our sin. We love him because he first loved us. John 13:34. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. As I have loved you. As I have loved you. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Matthew 16, 16. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. You came to earth to die for me, that from sin I might be free. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Okay, Proverbs 11, uh, 2011, 
Even a child is known by his doings. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his word be pure. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his word be right. Always do right and work with all your might. People are watching everywhere. Remember to be kind and always keep in mind that Jesus sees everything you do. Okay, our verse for this week is easy sneezing. Ready? It's found in Psalm 145.9. The Lord is good to all. God is good to everybody, right? He make, he sends the sunshine for everybody, good people and bad people, right? Mm -hmm. Rain comes to make the trees grow, the grass grow, the apple trees grow, right? For the good people and the bad people. God even loves children, doesn't he? God loves children because children love him. Mm -hmm. And you know what? God loves children so, so much that when people tried to say, don't let those children come to me, he said, uh, 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 I love children. You let those children come to me. Mm -hmm. And he put them up on his lap and he prayed for them and blessed them. Mm -hmm. So our verse this week, we'll say it three times. The Lord is good to all. Three parts. The Lord is good to all. One more time. The Lord is good to all. Our story today is a woman who got caught sinning. And it was a really, really bad sin. It was a week before Jesus died. And every morning he went to the, to the temple uh, to teach. He wasn't inside the temple. It was in the area around. And people would come to hear. He'd go very early in the morning. And the Pharisees, you know, those teachers that... And they brought a woman to him. And they just threw her in front of Jesus. This woman was taken in the very act of sinning. She was committing adultery. And the law says that she should be stoned. Now, adultery is a bad sin. What adultery is, is when a person is married and the man finds gets another girlfriend or the woman gets another boyfriend, mm -hmm. that's adultery. When you're married, you stay with the person you're married to. And if you have another boyfriend or girlfriend, that's called adultery. And that's a horrible, horrible, horrible sin and God hates it. Because it hurts the children in the family, it hurts everybody too. And there's other reasons why God hates it, but God wants people to stay together because it shows that when we become his child, he doesn't get tired of us and go throw us away and go find somebody else. Oh, no, he keeps us forever. And that's why he doesn't like adultery because he knows people do it. He knows people sin and he doesn't want them to because it hurts the children and it hurts themselves. So he passed in the Bible, people who committed that sin, who did that sin, they were taken outside the city and people took rocks at them and threw them at them. Now, the men caught that woman, but they didn't bring them, they didn't bring her boyfriend. He should have been killed too, but they didn't bring him, just the woman. They didn't really care about the sin. They were trying to trick Jesus. They were trying to get people out because Jesus showed love to everybody. He helped people. And now they were showing a sin. Oh, the Bible says that you should do this. And if you're going to be, mm -hmm, there are people that way, Christian people that are so ugly. Mm -hmm. Somebody did that to me yesterday. Mm -hmm. They did. Somebody did that to me. Oh, you, 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 you have to do this. No, God says we need to love others and help others. So Jesus saw, looked at that poor woman and she was embarrassed. She was. She didn't want to do that sin. She just. Life was hard. Jesus ignored the men. They were waiting to see what he was going to say to him. He knelt down on the ground and he started writing in the dirt. 
and they were mah, 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 and he just ignored him, pretend they were kept writing in the dirt. When he was done writing, he stood up and he stepped aside. He said, The person who has no sin, throw the first rock. The people saw what he had written. The Bible doesn't tell us what he wrote. Maybe he wrote the Ten Commandments. Maybe he wrote, we don't know what he wrote. Maybe he wrote some of the sins that those men did. Maybe some of those men had another girlfriend. We don't know what he wrote. But when they saw that, they were embarrassed and they walked away one by one by one, starting with the oldest person all the way down to the youngest. And Jesus looked at the woman and she said, where are the men that accuse you? Said, They're not here. Jesus said, I don't accuse you either. Go and sin no more. Go home, but don't sin. See, a lot of people. Here was a poor woman. She got herself into trouble. I'm sure when she grew up, that's not a sin that she wanted to do. She thought she would ever do, but life happens. We don't know how it happened, but she ended up committing this terrible sin. But we all have sin, and all those men that were they were yelling and, and accusing her. They all had black hearts, too. So they all had sin. But they only saw hers. Oh, hers is bad. Well, guess what? Theirs was bad, too. But Jesus didn't tell anybody their sin. No. He let, he just told them what sin is. And then the men saw their sin, and they walked away. They couldn't throw a rock because they had bad sins too, right? And Jesus didn't tell them, oh, that's okay, I still love you. He didn't say that. He did love her. She, what did he tell her? Don't sin anymore. Okay, your sins are forgiven. Now don't go and sin. God wants us to ask him to, to wash our heart nice and clean, right? And ask him to be our daddy, right? So that we can go to heaven one day. But if we do that, should we still keep sinning and doing bad things? No. When we ask God to be our daddy, we go listen to him and do what he tells us. Not the devil. The devil's not our daddy anymore. And we don't listen to him do that mess. Why? Because that hurts us. It hurts other people. When we sin, when we do bad things, it hurts other people. It's our mommies, mommies and daddies, all the big people, our friends. When we sin, it hurts them. But it hurts us too because people get mad at us and we get ourselves into big trouble. We might get hurt, right? Yep. God's, what did God, what did Jesus tell that woman? Go and sin. No more. Yes, Jesus loves you, but he wants you to live like his child because that's what's best for you. You do foolishness, you do foolish things, and it's going to hurt you. And Jesus doesn't want you to hurt yourself. So he said, listen, just do things that I, the way I tell you, and your life will be great. You will have problems, but you won't be making extra problems from your foolish decisions, right? Go and sin no more. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. Everybody in town knew about that woman. Everybody knew she had another man that was not her husband. Everybody knew that. Everybody knows everybody's business. Here in Rowatown, oh my goodness, everybody knows everything. You can't burp, right? Everybody knows it seems like, right? They know everything you do. People see it. Mm -hmm. They knew what that woman did. So they knew, hmm, we want to cause trouble for Jesus. Well, we know where to find somebody that's simple. They just burp, had to go over to her house and wait for the right time. And sure enough, there was the man, because that's just what she did. Everybody knew that. You're the same way. People know what you do. They know the kind of child you are. There are some children I do not like to be around. 
They are awful. They're disrespectful. They're loud. They're noisy. They're bratty. They don't obey. They're just totally out of control. Other children, I love being around because they're obedient and respectful and kind. Which one are you? Which one are you? If you're that ugly child, you can stop today. What does Jesus say? Go and sin no more. Stop. Stop. Ask God to be your daddy and to help you to do what's right. Let's say our verse three times. And then we will sing our song. Even a child is known by his doings. Even a child is known by his doings. Even a child is known by his doings. Why don't you stand up and we'll sing our song, okay? Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be right. Always do right and work with all your might. People are watching everywhere. Remember to be kind and always keep in mind that Jesus sees everything you do. Yes, he does. Make sure you say your verses, okay? Make sure you get that video from me and from Miss Lenny.